at last. Beginning to learn, begin to learning to learn in this, this, at this, at last. last. Not only can they not uh, provide not only the future, can they, they not. Uh, uh, okay. Well, there's only 11 minutes of hope left. And then the final installment of Monday Night We the People takes place. Okay. This is Funhouse Show. And uh, I'm going to wrap things up here. Of course, we'll be back next week, 10 to midnight. But uh, let me tell you what we heard first, because I know you'll want to run out and uh, purchase all those fine uh, musical ditties uh, for your own collection. Or uh, maybe you just want to uh, have it all written down from the tape you made tonight. See, we started off that set with... X-Ray Specs from their germ-free adolescence record. A track called The Day the World Turned Day Glow. Uh, followed that with the Desperate Teenage Love Doll soundtrack, Red Cross, doing Yeah, You Got Me. No, actually, that's White Flag with, uh, like, one of the members of uh, Red Cross or something like that. It's real confusing. That record, like, all the members of the band seem to... I don't know, sleep with each other or something. Lee Harvey Oswald Band gave us Lightning Strikes from their latest mini LP on Touch and Go. It's a great record, real good psyched out grunge. You remember a while back it seemed like punk rock was kind of floating amongst the cosmos of uh, between Neptune and Uranus, wondering which way it would go, whether, uh, you know, we had this straight edge contingent one way, and we had this crossover stuff the other way, and then we... Well, it seems the one way to follow, not Jesus, grunge rock. Fuzzed out grunge rock seems to be the uh, strong trend that Chuck Rose approves of much more than Jesus. So remember, don't follow the guy in the robe. Follow grunge rock. And, well, yeah, Bob, too, yeah, well, that goes without saying. Um, we also heard the Butthole Surfers with Boiled Dove off of the Smack My Crack compilation. Everybody always wonders where that song comes from. That's like a, on the Giorno Poetry Systems label, normally puts out a lot of poetry compilations. And that comp they put out was kind of a lot of really cool underground bands. They did have William Burroughs on there, too. A uh, really great William Burroughs piece on there that uh, is uh, totally unairable. Uh, we followed that with the Cramps from their Rockin' and Reelin' in Auckland, New Zealand live bootleg. Great record. And a track called Can Your Pussy Do the Dog. Uh, Alice Donut from the Bucketfuls of Sickness and Horror in an otherwise meaningless life LP. And we heard Lydia's Black Lung. Follow that with Skinyard from uh, the king of grunge rock labels, Sub Pop. A track called Start at the Top, that's from the 7 inch on that label. Ministry, a track called Breathe from their latest release, which has turned into a monster of a record, man. I just don't know what happened to that uh, former uh, uh, disco dance band turned uh, practically Metallica on this new release. It's real good. Uh. Uh, I hope I hope this is in some kind of a cohesive order. Let's see, we followed that with some more fuzzed out grunge. This one, actually a little more fuzzed out, a little less grunge on that one uh, from Loop, from the uh, a brand new import compilation called Eternal. Uh, they've compiled all of the 12-inch singles onto one import disc, which is kind of nice. It's real psyched out. Uh, fuzzed out stuff the recording seems a little light but uh, it seems to do the job and in the background right now a real classic record that's been floating around KPFT airwaves now probably for 10 years and it's the Flea Past Ape Elf record which is nothing but silly loops turned frontwards and backwards and you hear that comes from a can bit uh, used to be a one time KPFT here you turn on the radio at any time of day and you'd hear that silly thing uh, we had it on cart uh, with little tape here okay well that's exactly where we are and it's oh my gosh eight minutes left we the people like I said coming up with their final installment on Monday night uh, don't forget 
uh, next week, don't tune in for We the People. Tune in for uh, uh, Dwayne Bradley's show, Spirit, and uh, it'll be, uh, instead of talk, it's going to be spacey, dreamy um, stuff to relax. I guess something to ease back after the uh, extreme stress and torment that Funhouse puts you through. So, I guess uh, I guess that's it. <laughs> What a conclusion. Actually, let's listen to the Sweet Nightmares promo real fast. Because um, for those of you uh, who are really into the thrash mode, and it uh, seems to be not much of a difference between uh, those of us that uh, listen to metal and punk anymore uh, in some points, the Axiom is a good example. They carry both shows nowadays, which is good. Anyway, for those of you who uh, like the really mega thrashed out stuff, Sweet Nightmares is a show here at KPFT that does the job, and uh, this little tape will tell you all about it. So good night, kitties, and don't forget, um, uh, the gingerbread man really does exist. Sweet Nightmares, KPFT's only program dedicated to alternative metal, features demo demolition, classic metal, local metal, and guitar greats. It's hosted by Wes Weaver, the Moss Doctor, and there's every Tuesday night from 1 a.m. to 5. Tune in and support Metal in Houston. He could be awfully prickly. He could be awfully prickly. But he was prickly. Wanto, wanto, wanto. You know, you also did the 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 sage and and the. the, the <laughs> And certainly they're not likely to come down. Change our lifestyles. Need some body work. And when you're ready, if you have a stirring problem, straighten dents and repair nicks. For a five cent food hook. For a five cent food hook. Now. Now. Five cent food hook. Food hook. For a food hook. At the vet. Five cent food hook. At the vet.
KPFT Houston. Now the Vengers will play to keep and conventional citizens. KPFT, the once more financially secure bellwether of enlightened radio files all over the world of imagination presents We the People with Jesse Commando Poet, Elmo, Billy of Spring Branch, Scooter, Janice, Matthew, Mark, John, Naomi, Al, Jane, and all the rest of you who are now feeling left out because I didn't mention your name. In fact, now you've got another beef, plus special guest star Miss Waltrina Flem, Miss Restaurant Rudeness of 1988, secure in the We the People green room, spilling coffee on the guests and demanding tips, plus the We the People production team, Simon and Vince, and the top dog, Mike Leone, standing in for the real Buster the Show Dog, because Buster never learned about the big paw and the little paw, and that's too bad, because Buster would never make the mistake Mike's about to make when he points to me and tells me it's time for me to say these words you never get used to. Here's Odie! Yeah, put it on nine. Thank you. All right. Well, here we are. Boy, this is He's a moment. He's getting a microphone event. ready. Hey, I need my... Give me my earphones. Some earphones there. Here's my earphones. earphones. Here's the script. You don't Thank want you. these earphones. Uh-oh. What? You I don't, don't want, want those size. earphones. I want my own. Go in the back room and uh, get me my earphones. They're in my, in my red bag. Thank you. What you're listening to, ladies and gentlemen, is real right. live this radio. Is real live produced radio. by people mm-hmm. who aren't that paid for it. Richard, and here, let me see now. He handed me the, uh, this is the, I guess this is the playlist. <laughs> God, God, Sean. Uh, it's upside yeah, down. It's upside, it's oh, it's upside, number. right, it's upside backwards. Ah, uh, there we go, yeah, now it's uh, good. Uh, well, this is, uh, this is a momentous occasion. This You're actually is, here uh, live. I'm actually, first of all, I'm here live. I am not in uh, Reno, yeah, he, Nevada. Yeah, to make it at least for the last show. Right, I thought it would be, I thought it would be nice. Yeah, would you, put that one back, would you? I don't want to lose it. Thank you. Richard is is saving my um, saving myself here. And you um, need to be saved. What? Yeah. And, At least that's uh, what Reverend Green like said last myself. week that, was that you needed to be saved. What did he say? Oh, right. He, he said you needed crazy. to be saved. Oh, that was crazy last week. I was in this phone booth and there were they were running all around the streets of Reno. I couldn't believe it. He had everybody in the church was breaking the bank. And Green was the, I mean, I I don't even know if he's back yet. The last time I saw him, when I left, you know, I drove up the rental car to park it, and over by the where people leave, where where, where people leave, he was he was there with a tin cup, and he had put on an eye patch, you know, I think, and like torn his clothes a little bit to make himself look sort of of sad, and he was, was he there. Was he begging or something? Or? He was saying, "How they I lied like that." <laughs> <laughs> and people were actually throwing money into the cup, you know. I, I was in a rush for the plane, or I would have gotten out there with the recorder. But, I, I would have uh, loved to have seen that. I don't know. I th- I don't think Reno is a good place for him. I don't, you know, he's not successful there. I mean, he didn't even have the bus anymore. He so, lost the bus. I don't know. I mean, I didn't see him with the bus. Maybe he had the. Maybe he's just trying to get. I don't know. Maybe he bet it. You know, I did. I I was in. I was in a terrible rush. I had to get on the plane, so I don't know what happened to him. Anyway. The momentous occasion is, aside from the fact that I'm here, is that this is our last show at this time. Yes. Mmm. Five. Thank you. Five two six four thousand is our number. We can discuss that on what should be, for, along with other things. But uh, uh oh, well, here it is. Here we go. Say, buddy, the world's not treating you right. What's got your goat? Hey, lady, somebody eat your lunch. Don't be chicken. Tell the world. Five, two, six, four thousand. And let everybody know what's your beef. What is this? Nobody's calling. I don't believe this. Well, you want to know what my beef is? What's What my beef is, nobody's calling. Five, two, six, four thousand to express your opinion about the fact that we're gonna be, or or anything else. What? What's your beef? I couldn't. Re- I couldn't repeat it on the air. I'd be violating too many uh, station policies and uh, such, so I won't. 
an FCC policy. Is this the closed line policy? Hmm? FCC? Both. FCC and closed line. So I, I, I just won't do it. Far out. So, well, we're going to give you, you can think it here, everybody. This is Garland's beef. Mm-hmm. Mm oh. Mm. That is something. Anyway, we're going to be moving to 1 o'clock between 1 and 3. From PM. 1 to 3. Yeah, we announced this last week here. You heard it here first. Uh, 1 in the afternoon on Monday. So next Monday at 1 in the afternoon. You have to get up early for this, for our show now. You're going to have to get up early, and we will be there on Monday. And the show will... No. Yeah, no, I'm going to be there. Um, he better be yeah, it there. Yeah, it works very well for my travel plans, by the way. This is wonderful. In fact, I won't be traveling nearly as much next year as I've been traveling in the past. So we may not be getting as much exotic stuff, but we definitely will Things be. Things like the uh, trip to L.L. Bean and all that. Yeah, we'll stuff. be popping up here in Houston when you least expect it. And we're going to be starting out with a, a compendium of all of the stores. We're going to be getting going to the stores, and we're going to hear what it sounds like uh, at Christmas in Houston. And uh, that ought to be fun. Uh, let's go to the lines and our number one caller, Elmo. Hello, people. How are you doing? How are you, Elmo? Eh, not bad. Eh, yeah, not bad. Man, I'm happy this week that I'm with laughing. Yeah? I have a tofu. Is that an improvement? I have a tofu. You have a tofu? Far out. Yeah, I have a tofu. When I come in, somebody. Doing that in my program for the last couple of four years. I went to Wayne Bradley. And, yeah. uh... You know, it's a great program, but my, uh, there's a bad part of this. Uh-huh. The program is going to be cut 30 minutes. <sighs> and I don't like that. Because he, Wait a minute. Spirit's going to be cut 30 minutes? Yeah. Was it was it two and a half hours? Yeah. yeah. Well, he could fight it out with Frank. I mean, we originally had two hours and 30 minutes, and we gave Frank 30 minutes when Mike left. Yeah, but the uh, original program was on from 1 to 3.30. No. That's true. They're going to cut it 30 minutes. Well, no, but I, I spoke to Dwayne this afternoon, and he's going to play all of his records at 37 RPM. Well, I still think. So it's going to come out the same. It's just that you hear the music a little bit faster. I hope. But with new wave music, you won't really notice. No, i just saying the guy who does a terrific program, I, I think it would be a credit to him that he's been there for seven years. Right. Carried on, talked to the program. Retro, whoever that guy is. Right. Well, Spirit Spirit has been is one of our longest running programs. Uh, yeah. And Spirit really uh, it really uh, it created new wave here in Houston, and then that other station, <laughs> the one down there at the university. <laughs> you mean new age? Yeah, new age, new wave, new <laughs> age. What's the difference? <laughs> uh, anyway, it was it. The other station down there picked it up, and and uh, gee, they they thought they started it. Oh. You no. Know, I was what was Nat Eisenberg was doing new age. Yeah. New wave, new age. What is it? <laughs> oh. Knew something. Oh, I just want people to know that I'm really, uh, this is where Spirit got its uh, start. Right, right here. In, uh, 1983. Right. I was there. And now, uh... I've heard every one of them. Every Spirit? Yes. For the last seven years. I had two that program. That's great. Well, you can hear them both on KPFT. Yeah. And, uh, Spirit and, uh, We the People will be yeah. trading places. Yeah, but, uh, you know, the 30 minutes uh, really, uh, I guess, I'm just being uh, sarcastic, but I wish, wish the uh, program was a little bit longer. Well, we'll see what happens in the future, because the program director listens all the time. Wish I could find out who he is. Hours a day. Wish I could find out who the guy is. Well, send him a letter, and perhaps he'll send you a reply. All right, thanks. Thanks, Elmo. Yeah. Talk to you later. Don. Oh, uh, yeah. I got a beef. And so all these women I've been taking out, let take them out, and I spend a large sum of money on them. We could do this again. We, we've heard this before. Again, oh, they won't give you a fucking piece of it. Well, we get, had to cut them off. Yeah, get out the paper. Plain and simple. Get out the book. Good old... Just can't have that kind of language on the air, so we just disconnect you plain and simple. Everybody's been warned. And and we put your name on the list, right? And we say, 
there's the asterisk. We didn't have that this time. Well, we had the asterisk next time saying so. Well, this guy's well anyway, five two six four thousand is the number to call. Right. To share your beef with us, and um, your beef could be you know large or small. You know, it could be you know that the fire plug on your street corner has been running for three days now, and like went out in my neighborhood. Or actually, that was last week. Richard. Okay, here's Richard. Who has a beef? Five two six four thousand. Share your beef with us. <laughs> yeah. Or forever hold your peace. Yeah. Or, or don't. <laughs>